In recent years, mental health awareness has become a major topic, especially uh, neurodegenerative diseases, psychiatric disorders, uh, including Alzheimer's. It's also uh, a massive economic, or at least has massive economic potential, and that has sparked a global race for treatments and potential cures. My next guest is a small but determined player in that race. Joining me now, uh, Alza Med CEO, Stephen Jackman. Uh, Stephen, thanks for joining. Uh, I know that you've got two product candidates, and I want to discuss them first. Uh, I was reading AL001. It's a novel lithium delivery system. How would that work? It is. Um, basically, it's a, it's a lithium treatment that, um, that <clears throat> that's pretty much comprised of um, lithium, salicylate, and proline, then scocrystallize. And basically, that product is meant for patients with Alzheimer's disease, bipolar disorder, uh, PTSD, and major depressive disorder as well. How would it so, work, though, in, 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 in practical application? Uh, basically, it's, a, it's, a, it's an oral dose, a solid pill that you would pretty much take, you know, preferably once or, or three times a day. So currently, lithium is on the market. There's lithium carbonate that's actually utilized for bipolar disorder. It's considered to be the gold standard. And our product would be basically a safer version of that product. How a far, replacement, if you will. How far along are you in the process? We know it's a long time. You got, you know, one, two, three, <laughs> new drug applications, efficacy. It's a, it's a long trek to, to get something approved, isn't it? It's a long trek. However, we're just checking a box. Um, we completed our phase one in March, and uh, we initiated a phase 2A multiple sending dose. And our phase one pretty much concluded by equivalence with the current lithium on the market. So it shows that our product potentially spares the body you know, of the lithium, and you get more lithium in the site of action, which is the brain. So in spite of what's going on with FTX collapse, in spite of what's going on <laughs> with, with, with the war in Ukraine, I wanted to let you know that basically our science is sound and the progress of our science and the ability, the potential to um, bring aid to the 43 million Americans afflicted by Alzheimer's, bipolar disorder, major depressive disorder and PTSD is, I mean, it's pretty much astound, astounding. We're extremely happy about it. Yeah. Also, you're working on a vaccine. How would that work? So we, so we submitted an IND for immunotherapeutic vaccine built on a, can, a cancer platform in September and received the study may proceed letter from the FDA in October, uh, which is great. Basically, it utilizes a patient's own immune system to uh, combat and um, reverse the effects of Alzheimer's disease. Um, it was built on a cancer platform. The only product that's been approved by the FDA is um, Provenge by a company, Dendrion, to treat prostate cancer. So pretty much we take your blood out of your body, uh, we mix it with our mutant peptide, created a vaccine tailored to you. Mm -hmm. So it's different from a monoclonal antibody because it has no primer. So we see this as pretty much a game changer. And, and the ability to not really have any kind of side effects, and, the, um, and it'll be longer lasting. Stephen, before I let you go, um, it just seems maybe in the last five years or so, the public awareness uh, of, of the, the, the ailments that you describe has become so much greater. I know people were shunned for a long time, people were embarrassed for a long time. What do you attribute that to? I'm, I mean, I'm thrilled that so many people are willing to talk about these things publicly and seek help. I, I, but how did that happen? All of a sudden, overnight, it felt like, okay, let's treat this. Uh, well, overnight, they were treating it because, you know, you have 11 million Americans um, pretty much p providing over 16 billion hours, their caregivers, to people afflicted by these catastrophic diseases. So, yeah, it's, it's become, I mean, it's become a, a matter of economics, mm -hmm. a matter of pretty much saving your entire family. Yeah. I mean, it's wiped out. I mean, the founder of Alzheimer's, it hasn't skipped a generation on both sides, husband and wife. Wow. You know, so you pretty much have to do something. Well, we appreciate, we appreciate you. We applaud you. and want to bring you back. As you keep making it through the FDA system, let's keep bringing you back and celebrating hey, that. 2023 Stephen. is going to be a great year for us. We have a lot going on. So please check out our website. We will. You got Thank it. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, folks. In the meantime, you know, we've been talking about